Hi all, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I want to demonstrate today on uh, skinning a pheasant. Um, preserving a whole skin, pheasant skin, for fly tying. So, basically, not like taxidermy, um, where we need to preserve, where we need to take care, and uh, you know, we need to basically maintain, keep the, keep the feet and keep the head and stuff like that. Um, for fly tying, we don't need the same level of care, but we do need to make sure that we don't cut holes in skin. Okay, um, I get a lot of questions on on what's you know what's the best way to do it and how do I do it and you know any advice. And I would say if you're starting out, I think a pheasant is definitely the easiest way to go. It's um, it's definitely for for a beginner, it's it's the easiest bird. Um, there's there's very little fat in the pheasant. Uh, there's, you know, um, it's very straightforward in the skinning. Um, you just need to be careful with the skin itself because it's very delicate and can be ripped. There is, there is a bit of manipulating with, with the skin, but it, 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 you know, it does, it is easy ripped. So um, you just need to be careful with. It. Now this pheasant I was given to me by a, a friend. Um, I put the request out as I normally do, and I'm very lucky to have friends that can get me any any amount of birds that I need uh, when I require. And uh, I asked a friend just before Christmas um, if he get me this bird. So it's been in the freezer since uh, since before Christmas, probably the last four weeks, three four weeks now. And um, it's thawed out. And just before I, I started recording, I I basically I walked it out. I um, walked it, manipulated most. It's got off, just freed up because obviously been been frozen. They go quite uh, quite tough. Before we start, um, I'm going to use the gloves, blue gloves for this. Reason being is we're we're going inside the bird, um, and we're also going to be using borax uh, to preserve. So um, I just want to basically just cover up the owl hands. To start, um, basically it's 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 very straightforward. Like I said, we're, we're going to skin this bird. We're going to we're going to go the same near enough the same step as as a taxidermist would. Um, only we're we're not. I'm not worried about mounting this bird today. Um, so for that reason, you know, we, we don't have to take the same level of care. Now we do we do want to be make we do want to make sure that it's it's uh, it's um, just trying to get the zoom on it right there so you you'll see it properly. So I I do want to make sure that it's um, it's done right. Like you know we're not going to have any holes in it. It's not going to be ripped apart. But you know we won't be we won't be keeping the legs. So we won't be we won't be keeping the legs part so we won't. Um, basically we're gonna skin the head, but I'm not gonna keep the skull so we won't be cleaning out the skull and stuff. So um, it's probably going to be there's a look there's a bit of a process in it and it's probably going to take uh, pro probably going to take me over two videos to do it. But um, we'll uh, we'll get started and we will get going. So the materials you need for it will be um, basically what I'm going to use is I have a knife, just a standard sharp knife, um, I have a scalpel and I also have a garden shears. So um, I have the borax there as well and basically uh, the borax is just going to be for um, just basically preserving um, my, uh, my materials. So. Um, So basically, um, to start, I, I have in here, I have a spray bottle of water and I, I'm just going to show you. To start this, what we're going to do is we are just going to, now this bird was a little bit shot up, but um, you're going to find the keel bone basically, or the, the breast bone, which is this along here. And what I want to do, and what I always do, even if I, if, if I do, I do a small bit of tax learning for myself, and what I always do is I always spray the bird just it allows me to uh, find that keel bone separate the feathers without getting them dirty because you don't want like especially for taxidermy you don't want to be losing feathers um, for this you know it's 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 not so much an issue but we still you know you, you still want a nice finished article when you're when you're done so this just better enables you to separate the feathers and uh, basically just make that clean cut down on the keel bone or the breast bone. 
So as you can see, you can see what I'm doing there. I'm the the water basically is allowing me to separate all the feathers from the skin. That's giving me a nice line down on the cue bone to cut. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're, we're go I'm going to continue this down to the anus or down to the so and I can feel that bone all along there okay so that's the bone all the way along there and once I get down here then so that's giving me a nice clean area to cut and I've scraped all them feathers away and the same thing I'm going to bring it up just up under the, the underbody and just scraping away all this underbody body plumage. Again, you don't want to be losing any of this, it's, it's valuable stuff um, as I explained in another video. On feathers to take from a pheasant. So now that's giving me a nice clean area there. It doesn't look good but that's giving me a nice clean area. When they dry out one of the feathers will come back to normal. Um, the cut and I'm going to basically with a scalpel a sharp scalpel because you want you do want it nice sharp find that keel bone or that that blade that bone and just cut down along it all the way down along it and that opens up the pheasant okay and we want to come back down on the breast side as well you want to go all the way down come down to where the crop crop is and then that allow you to open up the pheasant, basically like that there, okay? And we can basically then get your hands inside it and manipulate the skin from the from the the, the meat, okay? And uh, basically all the way down along, like I said, the skin it's it, it's it, it there is some play in the skin. It is it is a bit forgiving, but. You want to be careful because at the same time it's very easy to rip the skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to push down all around the body, come down to where the wings is in here, where, that, where the wings are, down to where the legs are here, push them, and grab the leg and walk that leg up, if you can see it there, just keep my hand out of the way, walk that leg up, pushing that leg in, and push the skin down on it, you can see what I'm doing pushing that skin down on that leg okay and basically there's a, a knee joint there you can see the knee joint right here where my thumb is there's a knee joint right here we need to cut that there so but you want before you cut it you want to make sure you can get your thumb in so just gently push the skin back You want to get your thumb just in. You don't want to cut a hole in the in the skin. So once you've got your finger through to the other side, what we're going to do then is I'm going to cut this knee bone. And all I'm going to do is, with the garden shears, is just make a quick incision in it. And with a sharp knife, then it allows me to cut away the meat. And cut through that there. So again, where you, you got your finger through, Bring the knife in very carefully, don't cut yourself, and that has basically freed up that leg joint. Okay, now we don't want, like I said, we don't want any of this here. So very quickly, if I was doing taxidermy, I'd be looking to keep, I'd be looking to keep this bone here, I'd be looking to keep these legs, um, if I was going to mount this bird um, for, for as a taxidermist. Um, but today, you know, I'm not doing that. Today we're doing this solely for fly tying demonstration, um, basically to preserve the. The, the skin for fly tying. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, and I will come back to it, is I'll come back to it in a few minutes. Um, we're going to continue the same process on the other side. So again, working that that knee. So you're getting that knee, and you're pushing the leg, push the leg up in, but at the same time you're holding the skin very carefully to. Just, well, there's a little membrane there that you need to free. You're pushing that knee joint up out of the skin, but be careful because you don't want to split the skin. And this is where you could make a hole in the skin very easily. So, as you can see it there, okay? Coming down again, 
and you need to try and push that skin down so we can get my finger in underneath it and I can clear a space there basically to cut the leg hole or the leg the knee off so as you can see there my, my finger is out the other side there now so what I'm going to do I have the knee joint here so again just at the knee joint because I don't want any of this be careful not to cut any of the meat or cut any skin with a sharp knife coming in underneath I'm going to just take all that away and just be careful you don't cut yourself um, when you're doing this but you want you, you do want good sharp uh, knives and stuff for doing this so um, if you yeah. so that's that leg freed up that's that leg freed up there now so what I'm going to do is just temporarily pull the, 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 the legs back down into it because what I want to do now is I want to work I want to work down around this here and you can do a lot of this you'll, you will do a lot of this with your with your hands and um, so you will basically you know you, you will push be able to push your skin away with your hands for a lot of the bird but you know it's just um, just take your time you might need a knife for a couple of parts of it but it shouldn't be too bad so just very carefully you don't want to uh, split the, the, the skin and if you do look it's not it's not the end of the world if you do you can sew it back up but you know you want to try do your best to basically preserve this whole skin in one go so when you do go to preserving it, it, it basically you have a whole skin and the less repairs you have to do to it the better do you know um, so we're coming down now just need to come down around that you know, so just need to use you will need to use a knife around the the anus there okay so again just be very careful there it's just not to cut that there just cut into it but don't cut a hole in the don't cut a hole in the skin and it's going to bring you down once you've cleared that anus and it's going to bring you down onto the onto the uh, the tailbone so just very careful you know, the skin will, will be tough on the back it's probably going where you'll find it to be the toughest it's just on the back of the bird but we want to just free this um, we want to free this tailbone so what I'm going to do is for now I'm going to just work my fingers down around it and I'm going to basically I have made a small hole there but not to worry it's very easily done so I want to cut that tail bone so there's the tailbone there as you can see so we're at the tailbone there now so very carefully now just easing the skin off the meat very carefully there's actually a, a good bit of fat on this bird um, for a pheasant you know, generally you wouldn't have this much fat on a, on a pheasant but you know it's a, it's a good well fed bird so, so just working down just pulling the skin off the back of the bird so I'm trying to clear this whole area here so then I can basically cut away the I can cut away the tailbone so doing the same on the other side just pushing the skin with your fingers very carefully just push your skin or the skin away from the meat just peel it away very carefully as you can see it there very very carefully just trying to keep my eye on the camera so I don't go out with shot with the, the bird so these are getting a good view of it now we come in we come in on both sides 
And this is where you'd easily go through to take the skin and cut the and cut the tailboard the bone. So okay. So just very carefully go through the joint of the tailbone, like I've just done there. Okay, and now she's free. That was free. So now I can basically peel very carefully, peel up the back of the board. Just peeling the skin away. Very carefully. You come to the wings here then. So when you get to the wings, you can feel the wing. So again just peel the skin very carefully, just peel that skin back. You want to just again the wings are a little bit fiddly and, and an area where you, you could very easily go through the skin. And like I said, you want to have as little holes as possible in the skin so try not to rip try not to rip the skin around the wings or if you can at all try not to rip it yeah. now I'm not too worried about this being really perfect because like I said this is for fly tying purposes so um, and I won't be mounting this bird as a taxidermist that so um, not too worried. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. What I always do is I come in and there's a, you can feel the giant here. There's the bone for the wing and you can feel that giant and I just want to go in and just sever that, that giant. Just take it out of the ball and socket there. Okay. That will free it up from the wing. very careful not to cut yourself when you're doing this so that's freed it up from the wing there now so we'll go along and we'll clean off any meat then that needs to come away we can clean away any meat then so so you can continue down cut the tendons, the tendons will keep all that together. So you're going to cut all them tendons away. Okay. And we'll come back to cleaning out the wing properly you know, in a few minutes, but you just want to cut them tendons because it keeps all the skin in place there. Okay, just, it's a very fatty bird, I just want to put all bird. So once you free the wings, you can come in then and you can basically peel up to the neck. So we can. I'll come back to the neck in a minute, but what we're going to do is I just want to take that there. So there's the neck here now at the moment. And um, I'm just going to turn the bird around and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to come in. And I'm just going to move all the feathers and that out of the way. And I'm going to come in and I can feel the joint with the wing. What I want to do is I just want to cut that joint away. Let's take it out of its ball and socket. We can take away all that skin in a minute there, or that meat. We'll clean all that up. So I'm going to sever that wing there from the, the body. And just giving it a hold. And once you've done that then you can just again you know, a lot of tendons and meat here. And it just gives you a strong hold in the wing. 
But once you've done that, put that meat away. We're there to the neck. Now, what I'm going to do, if I was if I was doing this, if I was mounting this board, I I I continue skinning all the way up with the neck. But because I'm doing this for uh, because I'm doing this for fly tying demonstrations, I'm going to come in and I'm going to sever the neck from the body. And if you wanted to eat that there, that's perfect. That's no problem. You can work away and eat that. Um, but what I'm going to do is, um, I'm not worried essentially about the. I'm not worried about trying to mount this bird or anything like that and having the, the whole head and stuff all. So I'm just going to take that gizzard and that crawl away the grain. So what I'm going to do when I'm doing all this for, for fly time is uh, I generally um, So I generally what I do is I um, I come in and I slit up the, the long neck, so like we're done. So taking my scalpel again, because I'm not mounting this bar, I don't care. But I want to keep the beak and I want to keep the head, just as a whole skin, you know, because there's good feathers on the head, and there's good feathers on the neck and stuff. But what I'm going to do is just. Up along the neck, I'm just going to make a small cut, like we done. Like we done before, and I'm just going to separate all the feathers along the neck, and I'm going to slit up along right up to the beak. Um, so that way, I'm not removing any feathers when I'm cutting, and um, this way, it's ensuring. Stop working on me there for a minute. Right, so we're not going to. You don't want to. So you don't want to be when you cut. If you cut up the feathers as it is now, you'll move. You'll pull feathers out of the feather tract, and it doesn't look good. Um, so what you want to do is you just you want to create a little line up along the f the, the thing, separate feathers. So you're not pulling feathers out. But this this would be. All the way up. And what I'm going to do then is that's going to allow me to make an incision up along the neck. From where we have some you know, good sharp scalpel, you want a scalpel, this won't be a problem. And where I've separated all them feathers. Coming up along, I'll just move it into view for you to see. So I'm coming up along the head where I've separated all them feathers. I'm not going to be too bothered about here. And so, so therefore, then I have the head cleared. So, and I'm going to split that neck just like that. And this is how I do it for fly time. Because like I said, like I said, I'm not, I'm not worried about losing feathers, or I'm, I'm not, I'm not mounting this bird per se uh, for a taxidermy. Um, so I'm not worried about you know um, the way it looks. This is going to go into a bag. This is going to be preserved and going into a bag. Um, so you know, so it doesn't need to be, um, it doesn't need to be skinned as perfect as a, as a taxidermist would do it for mounting, but. I want to keep the beak and I want to keep the head so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin around the head now this this allows me to do it and I can then I can basically remove the skull because there's, there's a lot of clean on the skull as well um, and like I said I'm not mounting this bird for a taxidermy so I don't really need to uh, I don't really need to have the whole head there for a support to, to support the skull or so, so just with your knife, just probably use your scalpel 
just because it's fine and just what you want to do is just remove around the head around the eye up to the beak coming around I'm going to cut this head away then but like I said when I do my skins I do like to have the head feathers and everything there you know because there is good feathers on it but once I get down I'll sever from the head from the beak so the head is a bit fiddly you know going around the ears. Putting a small hole there now that it's got and slipped, but not to worry. Going around up to the beak. That's the eye. That's the ear hole there, yeah. Okay, all the way up. So go on. So we're going to skin this board in this video, and then I'm going to do. A second video on how to clean it, preserve it. So again, pull the skin over the ear hole. See I'm doing there. Coming in around the eye. Sever all them tendons there, keeping the head together. This would be the same as doing it if you were mounting a, a pheasant for taxidermy. This is the way you've done. The only difference is I wouldn't have cut up the whole neck. I would have just skinned the neck, kept the whole skin whole on, on it. But because, like I said, I, I'm, I'm doing this for fly tying. This is going to be bagged. It's going in. I just I'm interested in the skin for the pheasant uh, for the feathers. So I'm not looking to uh, keep the whole head and clean out the head and flesh the head and stuff like that. There. I'm actually going to cut this skull off this beak. There we go. Tendons there that need to be removed. Another tendon there. Needs to be removed. And then come down over the eyes. So just use your scaffold. Coming down over the eyes. Just like that. There's a bit of work in it. There is a bit of a process to doing it. But it just means you end up with a really good skin and you don't have to pay ridiculous money for a whole pheasant skin. Now I'm not going to go any further than that there and that there. That's that's perfect. So 
what I am going to do now is I'm just going to take very carefully come in there and snip that there and come in there and snip that there with my knife I'm going to cut it away I need to put it down on the table for this that's it so I've cut it all the way there now so we just need to go in now and just remove it just cut away a bit better so the beak is still on the bird and we can flesh all that away it's going to take his tongue out so what I want to do now is I want to go back put the head back in so you're basically left with that then when you do it and you can see it there so it's cleaned out all good so so basically what you're left with now that the head is all cleaned is you have the head, whole head um, you have the beak okay tongue is removed You just basically want to remove anything that is going to go smelly or has the potential to go smelly. And if you just remove all that there, with the borax, we'll preserve all this. Now, that is essentially. The bird cleaned out and good to go now we're going to come back to this here so if you look at the legs okay so we have the legs here and um, we have the member we push the meat back up in so we're left with the drumstick okay what I want to do now is because I'm not need we don't need that so with my scalpel I'm going to just cut around it just a nice circle don't worry about the feathers and stuff I'm just going to cut a nice circle just around where that joint is going down to the bone that's freeing up all that meat basically to um, that's freeing up all that meat to uh, basically um, being removed by that leg so, so just don't worry about it but we just want to cut that all there all around my plan is that the leg should just pull straight out and keep them leg parts whole okay so we'll come back in Clean it down. Skin it down, put it down. Skin it down. Cut it there. Cut the tendons come back in and that leg comes out with a hole so you're left with that whole leg area there then and it's not uh, and all we have to do is we'll, when we're going to preserve it we'll clean it up when we're going to preserve it I'll demonstrate what we'll do is we'll sprinkle borax down into it it doesn't need any cleaning down there there's no meat in it so we've removed the whole meat on the drumstick as a whole. So it doesn't need any uh, doesn't need any um, real uh, um, cleaning out down there. I just come back out a small bit there, just with the camera there, so we can 
give you a better view. But um, let me go back on and we'll do the same basically with the next one. So I'm going to come in. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to loosen up around the first. I'm going to come up just above the joint. So we have the joint here. And I'm going to come up about with my scalpel. I'm just going to go around it. Um, good and sharp. The scalpel will just taking the skin and everything cut down to the bone. You're not worried about anything else. So we want to take the skin down very carefully. Peel it down. Peel it down nice and easy until you, till you get down to the giant. Don't pull down any further than that giant because what will happen is you'll just pull the skin. And we're going to cut that drumstick off there. And we're going to come in and we're going to remove that whole drumstick. So then when we go back out, I have that whole leg area there as one. And all I have to do then is just remove the leg. And we put borax down into that. That's that's nice and clean area there down in that leg. It's a very clean area, so it doesn't need any fleshing out or anything like that because we've removed the, the meat in one whole go. And basically now that is my pheasant skinned. Um small a small hole up here in the thing, but we're not we, I can patch that up. I I'll I'll saw that up before we go to so you can see a small hole here so again just a small stitch there we'll, we'll, we'll fix that and I'll do that before I go to preserve it and clean out the rest of it but uh, that's my that's the pheasant skinned and um, so what I'll do then is, is I'm gonna leave that for the time being and I'm gonna come back to it and we will um, we'll clean it and we'll preserve it